Good morning. Um, it is like 8 o'clock in the morning. It has been raining non-stop all night long. It's just freaking crazy. Everything is flooded out. Um, I've got an old car. Piece of crap. But anyway, it's a big old car. And I hit a water spot this morning that other people are getting thrown off into the ditches. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to warn people. But i got to get to the other side because I want to get home and get things going. I've got things to do. And um, I just said, hold your breath, Fernandez. And he did. And through it we went. He took a tug. And we made it to the other side. And I'm home. Um, if you watch my YouTube channel or if you are just coming across this perchance, um, I do videos about just everything, you know, celebrities, my life stories, my relationships with my family, different incidents, um, I just share a lot of stuff, um, I really don't have a reason for why, I just, um, do it, I just do it, I like to talk, I'm, I'm always got something to say, and an opinion, and figured why not, you know, just, this is gonna be the thing I do right now, and, um, I'm not necessarily doing it for anyone other than my amusement, my children, um, doing it to get things off my chest, um, doing it to have something to do, but anyway, um, I, I was wanting to think about a topic this morning to do, and, and I, my mother kept coming to my mind, and by chance, if you've seen other videos, or if you will, um, there's just been a, just been a lot of crazy stuff that's gone down in my in my raising and my um, my childhood and, and coming up, and I, I haven't had very many good things to say about people, and I do I do want to have something nice to say, and, I, and I'm going to start this morning with my mother. Um, first of all, my mother's beautiful. My mother is is in her sixties, and she is still just absolutely stunning. And and she's always been a beautiful woman. Um, there's pictures from back in the day when she was in high school and whatnot. And um, she's just always been very, very pretty. Um, my mother is talented beyond freaking normal proportions. Um, she can paint and sketch, paint in oils and different um, and different um, mats. Um, like you would not believe. I mean, you, you would really be pressed hard to tell the difference between a person sitting in a chair and a picture that she painted of a person sitting in a chair. It, it's, it's all self-taught. It's just absolute, absolute um, sheer talent. Um, she also says she feels like if she ever picked up a violin that she would know how to play it. She's absolutely convinced she's a prodigy and she just needs to get her hand, hands on one. So that's hilarious to me. I, she probably is. She probably is. That's, that probably is. Um, she has written a book, even though she doesn't know that I know it, and it's about um, things that go on right under your nose. Um, things that can be going on that seem so far-fetched and so back in the day and real uh, ritualistic and just crazy but could be going on right under your nose and she's got a book and I wish she would release it because I know good and damn well her problems would be solved if she would because it is an amazing interesting story um I read it when I was probably 10 years old um she used to hide it in her dresser and I would get it out and read it as she would update it and um I don't even know if there's even a copy of it anymore. I wish there was. But but she's got a lot, a lot of talent. Cook. My mother can cook like you would not believe. You you, you cannot believe the way a turkey can turn out on Thanksgiving or a chick or a, a chocolate pie at any time. Um a chicken casserole. I mean it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um my mother's funny. My mother's funny but she's very funny in a very crude way. Um I say she's just dirty, and I say she's gritty, and my daughter, who is 20, um, absolutely loves it. She she thinks she has a dirty old grandma, and she absolutely loves it. My mom makes friends with the strangest people. My, my mom can put a badass in their place and make them think twice about who they're dealing with and do it in such a way that they don't even know that they've been got. I mean, she just lays it out there, you know, pretty much. But that's with other people. Now, there's there's the reasons that we have our conflict, and I think it goes way back beyond 
my mother having me. Um, my mother was born to a woman who probably shouldn't have had kids either. Um, and she was born to a woman who should not have had kids. Uh, my great-great-grandmother, apparently the meanest woman in the world, uh, which begot my grandmother, who just is very strange in her ways and her thinkings and has pretty much twisted and corrupted the minds of every one of us. She has broke the spirit of every single one of us. And I, I'm going to get videos or I'm going to get I'm going to get comments or whatever about that. But I will make videos about her. And she is just, bless her heart, absolutely a completely miserable human being and has done everything she can to make everyone around her the same way. And, and there she raised my mom. So... The night my mom and my dad even met, my grandmother, who was um, on painkillers and an alcoholic, um, had a shotgun running amok through town um, looking to kill somebody, and they were all out looking for her. Now, there will be another video related to my grandmother and my mother's um, <sighs> turbulent, turbulent childhood, you know. What? I can release of it because I don't want to embarrass anyone. But my mother went through hell with her mother, and I think there were things that she did not get. Therefore, when she had her own children, myself, my sister, my brother, there were things that she cannot give. And I think that the things that she can't give, unfortunately, are the very things that I need. Uh, my mother doesn't know how to say I love you. My mother doesn't know how to say thank you. My mother and me... I don't know if I remind her of my father. I don't know if she just blames me since I'm the first kid and kind of kind of was there and she pretty much raised me by herself in the beginning and I think maybe took a lot of her youth freedom away even though she was you know 19 years old. I just think I think there's a lot of baggage even with me coming into this world and I think she's done her best. And I think that there are a lot of things I'm pissed off about, but as I've gotten older, and especially as I've had to raise children myself, I can kind of get it, but at the same time, I kind of don't. So there's just things that we just butt heads about, and I think she's in denial a lot of, about a lot of things. I think she lets go of a lot of things, and I want answers about a lot of things. I think she thinks I was too young about some things that happened when I was a kid that she can tell other people about and she can put her own spin on it because they weren't there, they don't remember, and she tries to put crap at me and I'm just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and I think that's another problem because I remember. I think I remember way more than she wants me to. I, I know way more. And I'm not trying to hurt anybody with anything, but this has certainly caused a horrible, horrible relationship. And, um... Due to her her bringing up and, and due to other circumstances completely out of her control, I mean, she ended up not raising me. and Well, she did until I was 12. But she was married to an alcoholic and there was other situations. I was just a kid in the house. You know, there's no really raising or I wouldn't have been in probably some of the situations I've been in. But, but she has had my back and she has helped me. But I've returned the same. Um, she has told stories on me which I don't understand why you do that to your own kid. She has not supported me in ways that I've needed. She's not said good job, you know. I raised my kids by myself, and she couldn't even do that, and she can't say good job. That bothers me. I have asked, how come you don't encourage me or you don't say good job? And she says that she feels like I'm so strong that I don't need that. Well, I need it more than ever. I, I'm, I'm got a lot going on, and I'm pretty screwed up, and... And sometimes a kind word would be good, and but she doesn't get it, and so I don't fight for that anymore. And I don't want to be around them because it makes me feel bad about who I am. I don't trust them um, because there are things about each other that we cannot change. It is simply who our makeup is. And I have tried, and she has tried, and... Um, I think as a person, just she's a wonderful, wonderful, amazing human being. But I don't have that mother-daughter bond. And that pretty much is a connection that was her choosing to break. And it has been her choosing to reinforce that break 
over years, and I think sometimes she does things that she doesn't realize, and sometimes I think she very well knows what she does. Sometimes I think she can't help it, and I just know I can't think about it no more. So I've created distance. It's like I wish her well as if I would any one of you. Um, and I feel bad for my mom. She was abused as a child, and she was abused as a wife, and she has been abused as a mother. And here I am just looking like a bitch because I won't have anything to do with her when it's so much more complicated than that. Um, I could extend an olive branch, and I have so many times. There's been so many times I've been there, and... I mean, I, I get thrown away, and I come back, and I get hurt, and I come back, and, and she needs me, and I'm there, and I need her, and she's not, and I can't go into it without making her look like a horrible person, and that's not my intention. My stories are just to tell kind of why... I am the way I am because there's a lot of people that think they know but they really don't know and I don't want to tear my mom down nothing else I would love to build her up I would love to have her situated have her in a home that's taken care of I would love to have her not worry anymore about anything and and um and and thank her for that. I would like to take care of her just for the crap she's gone through in life because she's been through some crap, guys, and I'm not trying to add to it. We just simply do not have that bond, and, and I have tried. And this is not childhood things. This is things that have happened as recently as a year ago. It's just stuff, you know. It's just stuff. And I know all, all the people say, you know, you just need to get over it and quit being so hard and quit hanging on to the stuff. Well, that's it. I'm not hanging on to the stuff. I simply do, do not have a connection. I do not have feelings. I don't think about them. I'm not missing them. I'm not desiring them. I, I'm not wanting them around. I'm not wanting to go here or there. Um, People do not realize, I think she may, and my my other sister and siblings may, the only interaction that I really have done with them is so my kids can have some sort of a conversation, a memory bank, considering their grandmother, because they don't have the right to pay for our problems. And I say our problems because I guess we've both been at, at fault, but... I was the kid. I don't know. When your mother throws you away, it breaks your heart. And when she does it over and over and over again, it sometimes gets to the point where it's just best to to go on and not keep putting yourself in a situation to hurt. And that's kind of where we're at. And um, But she's so, so awesome. I wish she had friends. I wish she had someone, a significant other. I wish she had money in the bank. And I wish she had better health and I wish her all the best and, and it hurts even more that we don't have a relationship so you say why don't you try to build on that well there's other things in place that would take way too long to explain to ever get there um, and, and I don't know and there's no place to get I wish her well she wishes me well I make the kids check in on her or my daughter I mean my son and her don't even have a, a relationship and that's that's a byproduct of he's like me. If you kind of feel like you're not wanted there, then he don't bother being there. And I've been showed that over and over again. And he, my daughter's been favored over my son. And then, um, so he's just kind of like he can take it or leave it. I mean, he loves her, but he can take it or leave it. Now, my daughter and my, my mom, they're just like amazing and, I, and I'm so thankful for that because my mother needs somebody that is on this planet that completely one million percent trusts her and loves her and enjoys her and there's no boundaries and there's there's no limitations I mean my mom can be herself and my daughter can be herself and they are just awesome together and um, I didn't have that and it sucks, and yeah, my heart hurts from it, but, but I want you guys to know that she is awesome. It's not that I hate her. It's just that we've got a bunch of crap, and it's come to this. So anyway, still raining outside. I've got to get up and get some things done. Got to put some makeup on, do some job applications, blah, blah, blah. Have a good day.